Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. This is the game we've all been waiting for. Algeria against Burkina Faso in Bleeder. It's do or die, a win or a draw. We'll take Algeria through to the playoff section of the World Cup qualifiers. A loss at home to Burkina Faso and that is it. Class finished. Sefini, we are out if we lose this game. So there is pressure now. Burkina Faso have been on our tails throughout this campaign. They recently dropped points at home to Niger, but that doesn't really change things because going into the final game, Burkina Faso always needed to come to Bleeder and win the match because our goal difference is so high. We've scored so many goals in this campaign. So that doesn't really change things too much. But the thing is, Burkina Faso, it's not going to be one of those games where an African team is going to come sit back and defend. They've got nothing to lose. They have to go for this. Like genuinely, they're going to give it or they're going to attack. They're going to have to go for it because they've got nothing to lose. So our defence could be tested, uh, particularly with their pace. However, Burkina Faso are missing a lot of their key players. There's going to be no Bertrand Traore, no Lassina Traore. They are missing big attacking players. Um, so for us, that is very beneficial. But we've still got to put in a good performance. This is going to be a tough test. You saw what it was like when we went to Burkina Faso away and drew that game. It wasn't easy. It's all well and good scoring goals for fun against Niger and Djibouti, but this is your bread and butter where it really matters. So Algeria against Burkina Faso, yes, in Bleeder. And yes, we're expecting 15,000 supporters. I think 15,000 tickets were sold. Great to have the fans back. You expect the songs, the flares, the fireworks. Uh, I think you'll see a few more sneaking. There'll definitely be more than 15,000. And uh, hopefully everyone will stay safe and sound. They have sold out all of the tickets. Not much of a surprise. In Bleeder, again, a stadium where we still haven't lost. Hopefully that continues. And remember, of course, back in 2013 for the World Cup qualifying for the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, Algeria hosted Burkina Faso. A little bit different. That game sent Algeria to the World Cup. But it was a 1-0 win with a scrappy goal from Majid Bouguera. And what, eight years on, uh, we're doing the same thing again in Bleeder. So hopefully we're going to be through to the playoff round. Burkina Faso missing a lot of their key players. We welcome back players that we've rested. We can start Ben Sabani, we can start Zaruki, we can start Ben Lamry in this game. So a good squad to pick from from Jamal Belmadi. Um, I hope to see Rice and Bolhi back in goal. Of course the right back is an issue because there's no use of Artal. They will look to penetrate that side of the field, it's going to be Halle Mia or Ben Yarda. I think Halle Mia has to get the nod in this situation. Ben Sabani left back, you've got to go Ben Lamry and Mandy at the back. Midfield, we're missing Gudiora, of course. He was a big part of the AFCON win. It's going to be quite physical in the middle. Uh, well, Benassa Zaruki for Guli is what I'd like to see. I know Zorogan had a good game, but this is a big game. We need our best players. And then up front, I mean, Slimani really should be starting. Uh, Bunajak is an absolute sitter in the last game. So I would start Slimani. I'd put Morris on the right. Ben Rahma did score in the last game, so did Belayli. You could start Belayli, you could start Ben Rahma. You probably expect Ben Mardi to play Belayli in this game. And uh, Belayli has never let Ben Mardi down, this is the thing. Belayli has never let the team down. I know, look, he missed a penalty, he scored a minute later, so he's he's a good option to have. But I'm not worried about our attacking players. You can play Slimani or Bonajak, you can play Belayli or Ben Rahma. As long as we don't lose, I'll take a draw. As long as we don't lose this game, we're into the next round. Uh, a lot of questions about the next round. I think it takes place in March next year. Of course, the World Cup isn't in the summer, it's in the winter, so that's why there's longer to qualify for. Um, there's going to be 10 teams split up into five playoffs, and those five playoff winners will go to the World Cup. However, the five highest ranked in the FIFA rankings, the five highest ranked teams will play the five lowest ranked teams. Um, we still don't know who the 10 teams are. We know, of course, Morocco are there, Egypt, the Congo, Mali, Senegal. There's still lots of games to be played. Cameroon and Ivory Coast are going to play each other. Tunisia might not make it. Nigeria have got to beat Cape Verde. So still one or two things to sort out. But, but yes, having said that, based on the FIFA ranking, um, we're going to probably avoid Morocco, avoid Senegal, avoid Tunisia if they make it, avoid Nigeria. We're more likely to get an Egypt or a Congo or a Ghana or an Ivory Coast or a Cameroon. That's the sort of opponent. Right now, you kind of want Mali or you want Congo with respect. That's If, if you look at you know the, the, the best options in terms of what there is, I don't think there's going to be an easy game here. 
it's going to be 10 decent sides to make it to the playoff round. But hopefully we can get the job done. Of course, we're looking to go 33 unbeaten. Uh, we're very much closing in on that big all-time international record. But hopefully, inshallah, we're going to get this job done. I am a little bit nervous. The game taking place in Bleeder on Tuesday, the 16th of November and it's in the evening. So none of this one o'clock nonsense in the heat, in the evening, in the dark, under the lights, in bleed. So let me know your score predictions down below. Inshallah, we're gonna beat Bikina Faso and then we wait until next year to see if we are going to Qatar. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.